Hey, it's Nathan with crazymarketing.com, and in this video, we're going to check out the blog within ClickFunnels 2.0. Now, this blog is actually a fully functional blog, much like WordPress is a great blogging platform. Now, ClickFunnels 2.0 also has a blogging platform that is near on par with a WordPress blog. So, let's go ahead and get into it. Now, to get there, we just go to sites and then blog, and here we are on the blog or in the blog area. And we can see a list of the posts that we have, and we have two default ones. But let's go ahead and take a look at what the blog actually looks like. So we'll come over to view blog right here, and we get an idea of what our blog looks like. So here it is in all its glory. And so we might have to do some change, cha changes and edits to make it you know, fit our needs, but you get the idea of how it works. And then over here is our blog post, so we can click in here, and there's no content or anything, but we get an idea of what our blog looks like, and then we can go ahead and move forward. Now, there's also this gear icon for blog settings. We'll go ahead and click on it real quick, and we can go ahead and change the name and settings of our blog. So if we want to change from primary blog to, you know, crazy I media blog, you can go ahead and do that. You could also update the path of your blog. So right now it's crazyimedia.com slash blog, but if you wanted it to be something else, you could change it. You could change the style of your blog as well. Now I have another video on style, so I definitely recommend checking out that video if you haven't already. But we're gonna go ahead and stick with the default style, but if you wanted to change the style or change your template, you could go ahead and do that if you want to. That is a little more advanced because it does take some custom design and stuff like that. But anyway, it's out there. The function functionality exists. Here we get into SEO and sharing. And so this is what the listing would look like on like Google. If somebody does a search or somebody posts a link on Facebook or X, then this is what would show up. So you want to have something, you know, enticing for somebody to click on for your blog default blog title, your description, and then you could also set a default sharing image. So this would be the image that pops up, you know, when somebody posts a link on Twitter or X or Facebook and a, an image pops up, that's what this image is right here. So you wanna go ahead and make sure everything looks good so that way if your, your blog link gets posted, well then it will look nice on those social media sites and you know, Google and Bing or whatever can go ahead and present your blog neatly and nicely. Then we also have categories right here, so you can go ahead and you know arrange or organize your blog posts into categories that make sense. So maybe you have a category for Click Funnels 2.0. So all your Click Funnels 2.0 articles can go right in this category and keep things nice and organized. Same concept with tags, so you can go ahead and group and organize things together with tags. And also you could go ahead and have authors as well, so you could go ahead and you know put yourself in here as an author, an image of yourself, so that way, you know, the blogs have like an author for the different blog posts. So you can go ahead and set that up right there. And then we can go ahead and update blog. So that's like the blog settings. Now let's go ahead and look at actually like creating a blog post. So we'll come to new blog post in the top right hand corner here. And we'll go ahead and do a title. So title of new blog post. This is a summary. We can go ahead and add a featured image. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add a random image. I'm gonna use one of these stock photo websites and I'll go ahead and just select one of these images for a happy person because people viewing my blog post should be happy. So my featured image, SEO and sharing. So same concept right here. We can go ahead and have an SEO page title, description, we can change the path. So very customizable features similar to WordPress. Here you can go ahead and have your assign your author right here. So I didn't create an author, but if you want to, you can go ahead and create an author and assign it. Then here's your categories. I'll put it in the ClickFunnels 2.0. Here's the tags so that we can organize them. And then we have advanced settings. We'll click on that real quick. So we could change the style of our individual blog posts as well. So if you want this blog post to have this template, then you can select that. Or you can just use the default style so that way it matches all your other blog posts. But there's that option. We'll go ahead and create the blog post. And you can see that it creates one right here that is currently in draft. We'll go ahead and click into it. And you can see all those settings again right here. So if you messed up on the first thing, you can go ahead and change it over here on the left-hand side to make sure that it is accurate for what you want. And then right here is where we go ahead and create our content. Now I have a video on the ClickFunnels 2.0 page builder that I recommend checking out if you're unfamiliar with how this whole thing works. That video will explain it, but we just go ahead, we'll go ahead and add our section, our column, then we'll add a paragraph right here. 
and then we can go ahead and start top typing out our content. So this is my blog post. I hope you like it. I can go ahead and, you know, make stuff bold or underline or italic or whatever I want. I could go ahead and add, you know, an image element right here. And I can go ahead and throw something in the middle of it. I'll throw this computer picture and so on. So you go ahead and you create your blog post just like that and we save our changes. And we can also preview our blog post as well. So we can come here and it gives us a few different options so we can look at the content, the footer, or the full context. So I usually go with full context so that way I can see what it looks like within my whole blog theme so I can see if it looks nice. So this is what it would look like right here. So I have my featured image. There's a sidebar over here that maybe I wanna change and I'll show you how to do that in just a second here. But here's the, then the content of my post and I can actually edit it you know, within this preview so I can see exactly what it'll look like you know, when I actually go ahead and publish it. So there's a, a list right there that I went ahead and added. And so you can see what your blog post will look like. So once we're happy with it, we'll go ahead and save changes again. And then we can go ahead and publish it when we're ready. So I'll click on publish. And it gives us a couple different options. So are you sure you wanna publish this blog post? We can publish it immediately, or we can go ahead and schedule it to publish at a later date and time. So that's, that's a nice feature. Again, like I said, it's pretty, pretty on par with WordPress and it's nice that they include it within your ClickFunnels 2.0 plan. All right, so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and publish it now. So that way we have it live and there we go, it is published. So I'll close out of here and then I can go ahead and open this in a new window and it should bring me to my blog post. And so here I am on my blog post and there's my title of new blog post and it says unpublished right there. However, I just refreshed the page and it updated it with the date. So there's the date and then we can see the breadcrumbs. So it's under the blog, ClickFunnels 2.0 category and then the title of the blog post. There's my featured image, here's my content and all this other stuff. Now, how about this stuff up here? So there's a lot of white space up here that you know doesn't look right to me. And then over here, this doesn't make sense because I am not Jane Doe and I'm not selling this product. So how do I edit this? Well, it comes down to your theme. And I have another video on the theme settings, which I recommend you check out, but I'm gonna cover it real quick right here so you can see where it is in case you are unsure. So I'll come back to my ClickFunnels dashboard and I want to go to my site and I want to come over to customize right here. And I'm gonna come over to blog and blog post. And I can see my blog post layout right here. So there's a bunch of white space and I'm like, oh, that's, that's way too much white space. So I can come in here and nope, I don't wanna edit the top margin. And I can work to adjust some settings. So let's go ahead and look at this thing. So I'm gonna to come to section right here and see if I can find what is causing all this padding. And so there we go, I adjusted my padding right there so it's less white space. Let's go, maybe there's some row padding. There's some padding on the row, so let's clean that up. That padding, padding top and bottom, so there we go. And then I've got some a space or something right here. It's published date, let's look at that real quick. And we have padding on the bottom of 29 pixels. Let's go ahead and shrink that. And then we get into this section as well. And I wanna go ahead and change my padding top a little bit, pull that up. My padding bottom maybe a little bit, pull that up. And then I get to my row and I wanna go ahead and change my padding top here. And there we go, it's a lot tighter now. And let's say that I wanna include my post image in my blog post, right? I have it right here at the top and maybe I don't like the look of that. So let's go ahead and delete that out of there. And then right here is my content body. So this is where my blog post is going to be. And then over here on my right hand side is that, that sidebar, right, with Jane Doe. And so I could go ahead and change this to be, you know, myself. And I can offer my products or services over here or whatever makes sense, you know, for my business. So let's go ahead and delete this out of here. And I'll go ahead and change the name. Hi, I am Nathan. And I'm like, cool, that looks awesome. I'll go ahead and click save. And then we'll come over to our blog post. I'll hit control F5 to do a refresh. And now I can see my blog post. I have a lot less white space at the top here. Here's the title, the date, the breadcrumbs, and then right into the content. And then I change my sidebar over here. So I clean things up so it looks nice and neat for me and my personal preferences. Now maybe also I wanna go ahead and drag these breadcrumbs to the bottom of my blog post. I don't want them at the top. I can go ahead and do that. And I might need to add some white space or a 
a separator or something like that. So let's add some top padding and I can go ahead and save and go ahead and refresh again. And there we go. So it's not perfect obviously because I was just doing things real quick, but I think you get the idea on how to create a blog post and then how you can go ahead and update your theme so that way that your blog posts display properly. And hopefully this is all making some sense. Now there's a couple other things to talk about. So right here, the breadcrumbs. So if we come back to the ClickFunnels 2.0, we get to the blog category page. So this is what the blog category page looks like. And so if we come back into our theme, we see the blog category page. And right here, we could go ahead and update, you know, how we want this to look. So if it's got weird white spacing or something, we could go ahead and change it. Like, let's say I want to have it say fish sticks at the top of the page for whatever reason. Like that doesn't make sense, but you get the idea. I can go ahead and customize it. So now it'll say blog ClickFunnels 2.0. Now it says blog fish sticks. And for whatever reason, this didn't write maybe because I have a space or something like that. Let's try it like this and we'll try it again. And for some reason, the merge tag stopped working when I put text after it. So maybe that's just something to be aware of. So if I wanted to write fish sticks on my site, I need to go ahead and do it another way. So I might clone this and type fish sticks here, fish sticks, and then save it. And then hopefully the merge tag or short code would still keep updating to say the category that it is in. And then of course I could change how this looks right here. Like if I wanna add an element and add my post image right here. So I want my images to appear. I'd go ahead and put it like that and save and then come back over here and we'll refresh it. And we can see now that my image is showing as well. So that's how I can go ahead and update my blog category page. And then of course there's one last page we could go ahead and update. So the main blog page right here. So if I wanted to change how this whole thing looks, I'll come into my theme editor and then we have the blog home. And this is where I would go ahead and make changes to my blog and make sure that it looks how I want, you know, clear out some of this white space and so on, delete this stuff or replace it with my own products and so on. And so hopefully all this makes sense. You now know how to set up a blog, add a blog post, customize how your blog looks. And if I didn't cover something that you're hoping to see in this video, just go to my channel. I have a bunch of ClickFunnels 2.0 videos. If you found this video helpful, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that. And or please check out crazyomarketing.com and I hope you have a great rest of the day.